Hello, my name is Kevin Singleton, and you probably saw me at a high school assembly or perhaps a conference. And I'm doing this instructional basketball video because so many of you have been asking me, Kevin, can you teach me how to do those skills of basketball? And obviously the, the answer is no, I can't stay in every town I go to, but I thought I'd do this video as though I were doing a private lesson with you. So it's going to be real laid back. Um, my cameraman's name is Andy. You'll hear me talking to him. I'll say get around over here so you can get a different angle. And I just wanted to be laid back. We're just out here on a, on a court. It's an out, outdoor court. I've got a wall here that I'll be using. And as long as you can find a basketball or two or three basketballs if you get to that skill level and a place to dribble them that's solid, you can do these drills. You don't have to be in a gym. You don't have to be in the perfect environment. You just have to have desire. You remember as I, as I spoke at your conference or at your school, I was talking about hard work. If you'll work hard, and when you make mistakes, remember the other thing we talked about, you don't quit, you keep trying again. I'll probably make some mistakes here, I'll just try again. I'll just work at it until I get it so that I can demonstrate it for you. If you'll have that attitude, I really believe that these drills will help you. I didn't start working on these things until I was a sophomore in college and I often wonder what would have happened if I would have started working on these things as a sophomore, perhaps in high school. I would have been a pretty good ball handler and perhaps had an even better career. So I hope that this will really help you and that you'll work hard. Here we go. First thing you noticed me do when you saw me doing my drills, I was slapping the basketball. It was always the first drill I would do to warm up my hands. Notice when I'm slapping the basketball, the ball stays in the middle of my body. I want to make contact in the middle of my body. I don't want to do it like this or off to the side like that, but I want to slap the ball, hold it, slap it hard, make the ball pop, left hand, right hand, right in the middle of my body. What this does is strengthen your hands so that as I'm palming this basketball, you will be able to do that as well. I've seen people with much smaller hands in mind palm the basketball because their hands are strong. Sometimes it has nothing to do with the size but the strength of your hands. It's one of the ways you develop it. When you're slapping this basketball, you want to be able to sting. You want it to sting your hands and inside of your hands actually begin to turn pink or red. Okay? So you want to do that. It's the first thing you want to do. But remember, keep the ball in the middle of your body. Don't slap it out here. Don't hold it in. This happens a lot at camps players will start holding the ball into their body. You don't want to do that. You want to keep the ball away from your body, slap it out in front. Next, we're going to take the ball. You're going to start it above your head. We're going to slam it to the floor and catch it below our waist. All right. Now, a lot of these things, it just helps if you will stand certain ways. And on this one, what I want you to do is I want you to just stand with your feet together. Okay. It's very important because it'll help you to not throw the ball on your foot. You won't mess up as much, okay? So you're gonna start the ball above your head, slam it to the floor, and catch it down below your waist. Now you're saying, what, what is that? Because that's obviously that's double dribble if you do that, but what it helps you to develop is in the game, when you're getting ready to pick the ball up to pass it, you're picking it up to shoot it, um, you just wanna pick the ball up and bring it in close to your body to hold it. This ball, this drill, reacting to the ball coming off of the ground, that's what helps you to develop that skill. Look, if you can catch the ball coming off the ground this hard, you can catch it coming off the ground this hard. And so again, we're using the principle of hard work. Now, to make it just a little more difficult, what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close my eyes, start the ball above my head, slam it to the ground, catch it below my waist, okay? Right side, okay? Left side, right side, left side, okay? Right, left. All right, and all these things you want to push yourself. You might want to do it, let's say, five times on each time, on each side, ten times on each side. You want to continue to push yourself so that you can get where you're really throwing that ball down and you're catching it. And when you get in the game, you want to pick the ball up. It's no deal, okay? Next, we're going to work on fingertip control. I'm just going to take the basketball back and forth between my fingertips because fingertip control is very important in handling the basketball. So I'm going to start above my head, straight out in front, down by my ankles. It's important to be able to control the ball on your fingertips all over the body. So obviously I'm starting off slowly, but I want to go faster and faster. On this drill, you just want to keep your arms locked out so that uh, it isolates your fingertips. Okay, so we'll go above your head. All right, straight out, faster, 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 then straight out in front. Okay. Notice my elbows are locked out. I'm going to go down by my ankles or by my feet. I'm right, still controlling the basketball back and forth, straight out in front, 
above your head, okay? That was pretty simple. Now what we're gonna do is take the basketballs, we're gonna go around my head, all right? Now, you have to turn and look at this in the back, Andy. You wanna see that the ball is going around the back of my head here. I'm not going over the top, but I wanna go around the back of my head, okay? And then, that's the only one that's difficult because it's, you don't have the same challenge when you're going around your waist, okay? So we're gonna start off slow and go around my head. Start off slow and go faster, faster and fast. Now, again, with these, some of these things you wanna do with your eyes closed. I'm gonna close my eyes on here, control the basketball without looking for it, okay? Now I'm gonna go around my waist, start off slow. Yes, my waist used to be smaller when I was in college, okay? For you guys, you won't have this far to go around. Start off slow, faster, faster, faster. Okay, then we're gonna go around my knees, all right? Start off slow, faster, faster, eyes still closed, okay? The other thing you can do is go back the other way. Start off slow, faster, faster. Now we're gonna go around my waist, whoops. Make a mistake, try again. But most of the times you guys won't be wearing a microphone. They got caught on my microphone pack back there, okay? Start off slow, we're going the other way now around my waist. Okay, faster, faster. Go the other way around my head. It's a little more difficult for me. Faster. Always going around the back of the head. Last part we're gonna do on this one is go head, waist, knees, waist, head. Okay, so let's try that. So go around my head one time. Waist, knees, waist, head, waist, knees, waist. Okay. Waist. Knees, waist. All right, you got it? Next. This one's called figure eight. You're gonna take the basketball and make the shape of a figure eight with the basketball through your legs. Okay, figure eight, right there. Start off slow, close your eyes, get your head up so you don't get used to looking down. Faster faster and faster. This gets a little more difficult when you do what's called a walking figure eight. I'm gonna walk the ball between my legs. Always go in the front of your legs, okay? What happens a lot of times, people try to go under the back. You don't wanna do that. You wanna go, if I lift my left leg up, the ball is passing in front of my right leg, okay? Always in front. Walk first, okay? And you're gonna jog and then run, okay? I'll start off again, do it one more time for you. Walk, then jog, then run. And hopefully I can breathe after I'm done. Hey, that was a rhyme. Okay, walk, jog, run. Ah. All right, pretty good. Okay, we're going to two balls. Remember, if you can dribble two basketballs, you can dribble one basketball better. So we'll just call, start off straight away, just dribbling. I'm dribbling the basketballs right off of my toes here. All right, starting at the same height, and then we're gonna alternate. Same height, same time, alternate. Same time, same height, alternate. And we're gonna bring it down a little bit lower, a little bit faster, okay? Same time, different times. Same time, Different times. Same time, different times. I want to go faster and faster, okay? Now, we're going to take the one in my right hand, start dribbling it higher, keep the one in my left hand low. Now we're working on coordination, okay? Go back low again, okay? Now you're going to do the same thing with your left hand. On almost all the drills that we do, if we do something with our right hand, we want to do the same thing left so we're not a one-sided ball player, okay? Now the right one is up, left one's down. You can do it with your eyes closed as well, okay? And switch, left one high, right one low, okay? Next. Okay, call this one windshield wipers. What we're gonna do is take the basketballs back and forth, side to side, just like this. Now you go, why do you do a drill like this? I'm gonna stop and show you something. When you're dribbling the basketball, there's basically five places on the basketball you can dribble. On top, left, right, 
front and back. And you use them in different times of the game. If you're just standing still, you'll just dribble right on top of the basketball. If you're running and you want to pull it back, now you're controlling the basketball from the front. If you're running down the court, perhaps, in a, in a fast break, or if you're trying to break a press and you want to dribble the basketball from behind your leg, you have to control it from the back. If you want to do a crossover, that's on my right side. If you do an in and out, that's on the left side. So you've got to be able to control the basketball on the top, left, right, front, and back. And these next couple of drills that we're about to do will demonstrate how to work on that. So this, this one, windshield wiper, you're dribbling left and right. The next one we're going to do is push and pull. You're going to dribble forward and back. Okay? So windshield wiper, obviously, if you want to do windshield wiper with one basketball, what you do, you put your feet together, very important. You dribble the basketball across your body. I'm catching the ball outside of my body here on the right side, outside of my body here on the left side, okay? Outside, outside, back and forth, back and forth, okay? Controlling the basketball. The ball bounces right on my feet, right in the middle of my feet, okay, but I'm controlling. Now I'm doing it with left hand, remember? If you do it right, I'll do the same thing left, right, left. Okay? So you're not a one-sided basketball player. Okay? Now, with these things, you can do them when you're doing windshield wipers and even push and pull. You can do them several different ways to challenge yourself. What, the way I was doing it there was pretty normal. Okay? Made a little mistake. But you can also just dribble the ball real hard and real high like this. Just real hard and real high. That's a challenge because sometimes you lose it. Okay? Or you can dribble it down low really quick okay? and push yourself to go faster and faster. This one's Harder and harder, okay? Bounce faster and faster. If I do it right, same thing left. Faster and faster, left hand going back and forth, all right? Left hand high, harder and harder, controlling the basketball. Ball by, whoa! Make a mistake, you know what to do, all right? Right in the middle, try it again, harder and harder, okay? Now, that's one hand. It becomes more difficult, obviously, when you do it with two hands, okay? Up high, two hands back and forth, okay, medium, back and forth, a little bit faster, down low, quicker, back and forth, back and forth, let's close our eyes, challenge ourselves a little more, all right, you can even spread your legs on this one, when you're doing two basketballs, give you a better balance, all right, now here's something I don't think I do this in my assembly, but I'm keeping one basketball still, and I'm going side to side, windshield wipe with the other one, this develops coordination, okay? Doing two different things with the basketball. Left one stays still, right one goes side to side. Switch. Right one stays still, left one goes side to side. Remember, anything you do with your right hand, you want to do the same thing with your left. Start off slow, faster. Start off slow, faster. Next. All right, push and pull. Here we go. Pushing the basketball and pulling it again. This is now we're working on the front and the back, controlling it. Oh, made a mistake. Kick that back to me, Andy. All right, bounce off the wall. Way to go. I was having problems with my left hand there. That's what would happen if we were doing a private lesson. All right, so we're going forward, back, forward, back. Okay, controlling it. Want to do it a little bit higher? Controlling it a little bit harder. Okay, front and back, front and back. All right, let's close my eyes. Front and back. Now we're going to opposite. Pull one forward, push the other one back at different times. Okay, start off slow, faster and faster. Okay, now we're going to keep this one still, left one still, right one, push and pull, switch, right one still, left one, push and pull. Okay, all these things I'm doing kind of slow, but you want to push yourself. Let's go faster on this one. Okay, now we're going to push it on this one. Fa oh, Hold on, I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Here I am. Man, I'm having problems with my left hand. Wouldn't be a sign of old age. Nope. All right. Start off slow. Faster, faster, faster. Okay? We're going to now go to what I call triangle. Or if you go to the camp, they'll call it triangle there as well. I'm going to back up and use this line because it will help you to develop the drill right. If you're in a place where you got two lines that intersect like this one does, what you want to do 
is take it, well, let me show you the drill and then I'll break it down for you, okay? Looks like this, faster and faster. And then of course, if you do it right, do the same thing left, start off slow, faster and faster. Now let me break that down to show you what I'm doing because it looks really cool and looks difficult, but it's really not that bad, all right? I'm standing right over the line, the one that's perpendicular here and the one that's going across horizontally, that's the line of the basketball. So I'm gonna dribble the ball from my right hand to my left across that line. I don't wanna dribble it out there. I don't wanna dribble it back towards my body. I want the ball to go right across the line every time. Right hand to left hand. And I'm gonna break it down and just do it with one basketball. So if I had one basketball, here's what's happening. One is dribbling to my hand, and the other one, I'm placing it across. Right hand to the floor, left hand to the right hand. Right hand to the floor, left hand to the right hand. All in one line across this line that's horizontal here. So, if I pick up two basketballs and do the same thing, right to the floor, left to the right hand. Right to the floor, left to the right hand. Right to the floor, left to the right hand. Now that, that, that time I didn't make a very good bounce, and you'll do that periodically. That time the bounce came almost straight up. I want the bounce to have more of an angle so that it, it gets out of the way of the other ball than I'm passing, okay? That's a plane overhead. That's what happens when you do a private lesson. Planes go by, dogs come by, trucks go by. We haven't had any dogs, at least not on camera, but you'll see one in a minute, all right? So back to the drill, all right? <laughs> right hand to the floor, left hand to the right hand. Right hand to the floor, left hand to the right hand. Keeping the basketballs in one line. Start off slow, faster, 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 okay? Now, same thing with the left. Remember, if you do it right, do the same thing left. Left hand to the floor, right hand to the left hand. Left hand to the floor, right hand to the left hand. Notice how the basketball is going along the same line every time. Start off slow, faster and faster, faster, faster. Now, once you start going faster, I'll give you a little bit of trick. If you'll watch my left hand, I'm gonna go right hand to the floor, but I want you to watch how my left hand, it doesn't just take the ball and place it over when you get faster. I kind of scoop the ball up into my right hand. Watch this. See how I'm picking that ball up? I'm picking it up, picking it up. If I slowed it down, it looks like I'm picking the ball up. I'm picking it up to help me go faster and faster, okay? Triangle. That's a fun drill, and I just gave you the secrets of it. Let's do another one. We'll do, uh, let's do two more drills with two basketballs, and then we'll go to three basketballs. Then we'll go to the wall. Now this drill doesn't really have a name, but uh, it's really cool. I'll demonstrate it first, and then I'll break it down for you just like I did with that one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the basketball between my legs like this, okay? Then I'm gonna cross it, and if you can get in front so that they can see the cross, Okay, that's straight. Now the basketball's cross. Straight, cross, straight, cross, okay? Now that's a cool drill. Let me just give you one secret on the cross. When I'm crossing the basketball, I take the one in my left hand and put it through just a little bit before the one in my right and catch it, okay? So it's bump, bump. They come through at the same time. But on the cross, one goes through just a little bit before. It's hard to do it without jumping, okay? One basketball goes through just before the other one, all right? Maybe you'll like to do it with your left hand. Uh, if you're left-handed, I always do it with my right hand because I'm right-handed, I put the left one through, my right hand comes through second. Now, I'm gonna give you a drill that will help you learn how to do this. What you're gonna do is dribble one, two, three, through. One, two, three, through. Then you're gonna go one, two, through. One, two, through. And then when you go one, through, now you're doing the drill, okay? So here's what I mean. Because as I was saying it, I realized that sounded kind of weird, okay? So it's one, two, three, through. One, two, three, through. One, two, three, through. On that third bounce, did you notice I'm pulling the ball back so that when I go through, the ball is already behind my body. So it's one, two, back, through. One, two, back, through. One, two, back, through. One, two, back, through. Okay, now let's go to two. Now we'll just do two dribbles and through, okay? So it's one, two, through. One, two, through. One, two, through. One, two, through. One, back, through. 
one, back, through, one, back, through. All right, then when you go one through, one through, now you're doing the drill. And so what you're doing, when you're dribbling it one time and then going through, one time and then through, on that one dribble, you're pulling the ball back behind and through, you're catching it, pulling it back behind the next time. All right, start to breathe hard. And Andy says it doesn't sound good on camera when I breathe hard. So why don't I start doing the drill and I won't talk, I'll just breathe. Like this. One, 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 cross, cross, cross. Woo, <laughs> that's hard. Ah. All right, stop, okay? Next one we're gonna do, this one doesn't have a name either, but it's cool. And it helps you to learn to control the basketball on the front and behind. What I'm gonna do is take the basketball and kind of cup it like this, like I used to do when I be, used to be able to dunk real good. And I could dunk it like this, but now I can only dribble it like this. Catch it in front, pass it behind. Catching in front, pass it behind. Catch it in front, pass it behind. Do it your right hand, do it your left hand. Catch it in front, pass it from behind. Pass it from behind, okay? So, when you alternate it, right, left, right, right, left, okay? Now, this is a good little helper. I put my heels on the ground, on this line rather. When I put my heels on this line, it gives me a good point of where to dribble the basketball. I just dribble it on that line every time and I know the basketballs are gonna come up in the same place, okay? When I'm letting those basketballs go in the back, I'm controlling it with my fingertips because you remember, basketball is fingertip control. All right, let's do some juggling. Okay, we're just gonna start with the fundamentals of juggling and then I'm gonna juggle for you. So, what you've gotta remember to learn how to juggle is throw, throw, catch, catch. I'm gonna show you this from the front, then I'm gonna turn around and show you what it looks like from the back, okay? Because we're gonna use this wall behind me to help you. I'm gonna take the ball in my right hand, I'm gonna throw it up, and it's gonna come straight down, okay? Remember when you throw it, you don't wanna throw it and it end up on this side. You want the ball to come straight down on the right side of your body. Okay, and then you're gonna take your right hand and, and, and throw the ball that you're holding in your left on the left side of your body and it comes straight down on the left side. So, however you wanna do it, you can do, get two different colored basketballs, but one stays on one side of your body, the other one stays on the other side. One on the right side, one on the left side. So, the fundamentals is throw, throw, catch, catch. So I throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw this basketball on the right, throw, throw, catch, catch. Now the second throw, I'm taking the one in my left hand, I'm placing it in my right hand, and I'm throwing it up, and then catching it on the left side. Placing it in my right hand, throwing it up, catching it on the, on the left side, okay? So once again, it's throw, throw, catch, catch. The beautiful thing about DVD is that you guys can stop and look at that over and over, okay? I'll do it again, throw, throw, catch, catch. Let's say you're left-handed. So you start with your left hand. Throw this one up, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. So I took the one in the right, I placed it in the left, and made a left toss, okay? So it's throw, throw, catch, catch. So you got two different types of tosses here at the beginning. One is straight up, and then one goes from the right over and down. Let me show you what it looks like from the back. If I'm gonna use this wall, and I'll use this dividing line to help me, this ball will stay on the right and come down this ball will stay on the left and come down, but I'll throw it with my right hand, okay? So, throw, throw, catch, catch. See that? Throw, pass it to my left, catch, catch. Throw, left to right, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Let's go left hand. Left hand up first, pass it, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. All right, now, what happens is, was that all right transition there, Andy? All right, good. What happens is, and you might want to back up to get this, is as you begin to get the throw, throw, catch, catch down, all juggling is is continually throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch. Let me show it to you, okay? Here it is, throw, throw, catch, catch. That's our, funda that's our fundamental, that's our basic. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Now we're gonna juggle. Throw, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, okay? 
keeping my hands wide to catch the ball, okay, using that fingertip control to throw it in the same spot, okay? One stays on one side of the body, one stays on the other. You throw it high, gives you more time. Look at that. Look at all the time you got to throw a good pass. You get down closer, get, be able to control the basketball, makes it more difficult. Now, if you do it right, the same thing left, okay? So here we go. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Okay, so now we're just going to keep going. Throw, throw, catch, throw, catch. Put my right hand behind my back. Makes me react. In juggling, you always react. Never quit, react. Never quit, react. Throw it high, throw it low. There we go. Side to side, react, 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 react. Okay? Now we're gonna try a couple of tricks here. The first one, we're gonna make the basketball go in a circle. All this is doing is developing your hands for catching and passing. Because when I throw the ball up like this on a juggle, it's just a very small, short pass. That's all I'm doing. So I've got to control it. When I make a pass down the court into the post, I want to be able to control that pass. And that, that is fingertip control. And that's what you're working on here. So now we're going to control it by sending the ball in a circle. Here we go. Throw, throw, catch. We're side by side. Now we're going to circle. Basketball's going to circle. Okay. Let's try with our left hand. Okay. Inside to out, in to out, in to out. Oh, come back. All right, circle the basketballs, just like that, okay? You can start off slow, let's do something else. Let's make big circles and then small circles. All kind of ways you can push yourself. We'll do big circles first here. There's a big circle, big circle. Now we'll go small circle. Whoa, uh, better try that again. Small circle, mm. ah. come on, work hard, work hard. Big circle, big circle, big, 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 small circle. All right, do it right, do the same thing left. Big circle, come on. And big circle. No, that was a big one. Now we'll go small circle, small. Come on, small circle. All right, right hand, left hand. We'll throw one up and then one behind my back. So you might wanna work on the behind the back before you put the juggle in it. I'm taking the ball back, my right hand, and flipping it over my left shoulder or my head like I did that time. All right, right over my left shoulder. Take the one with my left hand, flip it up over my right shoulder. Take the ball back, flip it up over. I'll show you the way it looks from the back. Right hand, flip up over the left shoulder. Left hand, flip up over the right shoulder, although that wasn't very good. Left hand, flip up over the right shoulder. Right hand, flip it up over the left shoulder. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna juggle then I'm gonna throw one up just a little bit higher and take the next one and flip it over my back. That's how you buy the time so that you have time to get that one over your back and then catch it. If I throw it at the same height, I won't have time to flip that ball over my shoulder and catch the one that I just threw up. I hope you got that, all right? Let's try it, let me try to demonstrate it for you. Okay, throw catch, throw catch. I'm gonna take the one on the outside and I'm gonna throw it up a little bit higher, all right, just like that. See that a little bit higher throw, see that? Okay, when I make that higher throw, then I'm gonna take the, the other one that's on the left and throw it behind my back, watch this. Oh, whoa, oh, that was terrible, that was terrible. You saw how far I had to go for that? Let's try that again, okay? All right, oh, make a mistake, try again. All right, here we go, throw one up. Okay, you know why it was terrible? Because I threw the wrong one up behind my back. I'm taking the one in the middle, I'm gonna throw it up a little bit higher than catch the one on the outside and throw it behind my back. So let's do it. I knew something was feeling wrong, okay? So the inside, oh, you heard that hit? One on the inside, on my left, throw it up, throw it behind my back. Okay, let's try left hand. So the one on the inside, throw up, ow! Oh, throw it behind your back, okay? Let's try right hand, up, ooh, behind your back. Left hand, up, ow, oh, <laughs> behind your back. Okay, right hand. We'll just keep doing it. Up, behind your back. Left hand. Up, behind your back. Let's try left hand again because my left hand is getting a little bit sloppy. You see that? Up, behind my back. That was good. See, I didn't have to move. It's one of the things you want to work on. Whoo, deep breath. One of the things you want to work on is not having to chase the ball so much. The less I chase the ball, the more I know I have control over it, okay? 
Okay, now this is the one that everybody asked me after the assemblies, after the conferences, how do you do that? Can you do that one again? This is a balancing one, okay? Now I'll start, again, I'll start with the basics and then I'll do it for you. To start off with the balancing drill, take the one in your right hand, throw it up, put two hands on the one in your left, let the one that you threw up hit, and then catch the one that you throw up, okay? Throw it up, two hands, let it hit, catch the one you throw up. Throw it up, two hands, let it hit, catch the one you throw up. Let's try it again. Throw it up, let it hit, catch the one you throw up. I left out two hands. Throw it up, two hands, let it hit, catch the one you throw up. Throw it up, two hands, let it hit, catch the one you throw up. Now what that does is get this ball that the one on the top hit, gets it bouncing, because you're going to take the one that you catch and put it under to balance it. Okay? Here it goes again. Two hands, let it hit, and balance. Okay? Let's try that again. All right? Sweat in my eye, but that happens in a live private lesson. You get sweat in your eyes. Okay? All right? Throw it up, let it hit. Two hands, balance. Now, I'm going to take the one off the top and show you what, what's happening. My hands are on the side of the basketball. I see players try to do this and they put their hands you know, on the bottom or one hand in front, one hand in back, in back. You want your hands to be equally on the side of the basketball. Show it to you again. Throw it up, two hands, let it hit, pull the ball back to your body, and then two hands on the side. That, help, that happens a little bit. Let me get you a side view here, Andy. I know there's a lot of stomach in the middle here, but uh, let's see if we can show them what it looks like from the side. Throw it up, let it hit, two hands, I pull that, bas that basketball back. Saw how I pulled it back and went under? One more time. Throw it up, two hands, let it hit, pull it back, under. Balance. Now this drill here is, that's just called showing off, okay? Just because just I can do it, I'm doing it, all right? Then I'm doing it with my left hand, all right? You guys can do this if you work at it hard enough, but don't worry about that. That's just showing off. The next part is, you remember I took the basketball and I was spinning it. I was spinning the one on top, okay, by spinning the one on the bottom. Now, a good way to do it is get in this middle seam on the side. If you can think of putting your index fingers on that middle seam and spinning it, just like this, so that basketball spins straight. If you do that and balance it, keep the one in, on top right in the middle, the basketballs will spin, okay? So that's the way it works in theory. Let's see if it works in real life. If we get the sweat off of our eyes, okay? Start off basic, throw it up, two hands, let it hit. Pull it under, balance it. Then, yep, I think it works. I think it works, it works, Andy. It is working, it is working, all right? Obviously, again, the goal is not to move around too much. I had to take one big step back. It's a little baby step forward, all right? And you wanna stop the ball in the middle. What I'm thinking here, gang, when I'm balancing these basketballs, I'm thinking of a stick that's running right through the middle of those basketballs. I'm thinking of balancing it with a stick that's running right through the middle, okay? And I'm, and I'm trying to sense where is the center of that basketball. The third step to this one, if you remember, is I took the one on the top and I moved it to the bottom. The tricky thing about this one is that you always want to start the ball up high and catch it lower. You don't want to push it up and move it like this. I can push this ball up and catch it, okay? Push it up and catch it. That's, that's easy. The ball's going up. But what I want to do is I want to start up high like this and catch the ball lower. I'm letting gravity challenge me. I catch the ball lower than where it started. Grab it, catch it down lower. See that? Side view, I think that was a side view. <clears throat> like that. That means I'm working hard when I make those grunts like that, okay? Guys, on that drill, it's just hand quickness. Years and years of practice, you grab the one on the top and move it under, okay? You're concentrating, you're working, you're sweating, your mom's calling you saying, you got to get in the house, but you're still working on it. Your coach is going, get out of the gym, and you're still working on it. You do that enough times, you'll be able to get it. Hand quickness. All right, let's go to three basketballs. Okay, we're going to dribble three basketballs. Okay, and then we're going to go to juggling. Very simple to dribble three basketballs, in my opinion. All you got to do is be able to count to three. Okay, the way you do it, the start is very important. You're going to take one in your right hand, put one under your 
bicep here. See that bicep? See that? I don't know if you can do it if you don't have a bicep like that, though. One under your bicep, one in your left hand, okay? You're going to drop the one on your right, okay? Then take these and go one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Again, I mean, these are my trick basketballs, so they don't move around a lot, but you can learn this. Let's start you off again, okay? One under the mighty bicep, one in the left hand, one in the right hand. Oh, just for fun, let's do it. Those of you who are lefties, let's go one under your right mighty bicep, one in your right hand, one left hand. So we'll drop this one, okay? A little bit higher, okay? Then go one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. All right? actually a combination of the things that we were doing with two basketballs but the third basketball is still bouncing here's the trick when I'm gonna go to two basketballs I take the third basketball and I bounce it a little bit harder so when I bounce it harder it has a longer time to dribble then I can get back to it okay but if I just dribble it normal it'll die out on me so that's why when you're getting ready to go and do something with two basketballs you dribble the third ball harder okay okay so why don't we get us a little, you know, a little term so that when we're getting ready to go do something with two basketballs, we can know we're going to dribble this third ball harder. So we'll go, we'll call it three ball, okay? So when I'm getting ready to go and do something with two basketballs, I'll say three ball, and I'll really push that one up harder, okay? So we'll start basic, and then we'll do a few things with the three ball in it, okay? Right one out, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? All right, three ball. See that? Let's try that again. Okay? Let's try that again. Three ball. See that? Okay? I'll show you one more time. Three ball. Whoa! Gotta watch that three ball sometimes. Okay? Alright. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Try again. Try again. Try again. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Let's try this one more time. You ready? I'll show you how to do this in a minute, okay? All right. Three ball. Okay. Have my back. Three ball. See that? Cross it. See that? Let's see. Let's try one. Uh, three ball. Remember that one? Okay, so we can do anything by hitting that three ball, making it come up higher, and then, whoo, this makes me breathe hard. I think I'm getting older. I'm getting older since we started this video. Push the ball down, make it bounce up higher, gives you the ability to do other things. Okay, basically what I said I'd show you was how to balance these three balls like this, okay? Now, and if you can move down with me, I'm gonna go to the ground here to show them how to pick these basketballs up. All right, so I'm just gonna set them down on the ground here to help you build the foundation of this drill. Now think about a stick, once again, a stick just running through the middle of these three basketballs. We can even line it up like this. Let's line up all the seams. And let's get the same seam. I mean, that's some good advertising for this basketball company. All right, well, let's line it up all the way right, just like that. All right, this might help you, might not help you. Just depends on how you're wired. Okay, so we've got, we've got a seam running all the way through the, all these seams are lined up. And think of a stick running right through the middle of these basketballs, just like that truck. And that other off-road vehicle just ran through our private time, all right, <laughs> our private lesson. And what I'm doing is I'm going to catch my hand on either end, push my hand on either end of that stick and pick it up, all right? Now I'm focusing... All right, right now my focus is on that stick that's in the middle, the part of the stick that's in the middle, because as you can see, the ball that's moving the most is the middle ball. All right, I got the outside ones. They're not going anywhere, but it's that middle ball that I'm really trying to balance. So down on the ground again, okay, and I'm thinking a stick running through, okay? Grab it, and now I'm balancing, okay? When I drop the basketballs and pick them up again, I'm again, I'm thinking there's a stick running through. 
I want to balance these basketballs. Balance right in the middle, okay? Now, that's fun, but you remember when I was doing this, I took the one on the left and I moved it to the right. So now, to, to get that to happen, rather than just dropping them like this, I'm gonna drop the balls from just a little bit higher, okay? Bring them almost up to my head, drop it, and that gives me time to get that basketball around, okay? Bring it up higher. Whoa, that was good. That's called excellent recovery skills, all right? Drop it, bring it around. I know what you're thinking. If you do something with your right hand, do the same thing with your left hand. Well, technically, I was moving it with my left hand. So let's go back the other way. Drop the basketballs, take the one on the right, move it to the left, okay? Take the one on the right, move it to the left, okay? Take the one on the right, move it to the left, okay? Now, we're gonna juggle. Juggling. Again, whenever you're dealing with three basketballs, you'll start with two in one hand, one in the other hand. So when we're starting off juggling, we've got one under my right elbow, one under my left elbow, one in my right hand. I'm gonna take the one in my right hand, and I'm gonna throw it over to my left shoulder. Same throw, throw, catch, catch thing, okay? And then when I, after I throw this one to my right shoulder, I'm sorry, take the one in my right hand, throw it to my left shoulder, take the one in my left hand, throw it over, 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 over. Okay, now those balls are going inside of each other. So the flight of the basketball from our right hand is always up and down. Okay, flight of the ball from my left hand is always up and down on the right side. Right hand, up, down on the left side. Left hand, up, down on the right side. And I'm just basically crossing the basketballs back and forth. But it's the start that is always tricky. So let's do it again. I'm gonna start two in one hand, okay? Right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right. Man, that looks easy, doesn't it? All right, but what's making it look easy is, is the accuracy of the throw, okay? Let's throw them up higher. Basketballs are going up higher, okay? Now they're going lower. Lower and quicker. I'm making a very accurate toss, okay? Making a good catch. You know, I forgot to tell you guys this when we were doing dribbling with just two basketballs, but when you catch the basketball, you really want to spread your fingers. Even on the dribbling things, when we were doing uh, windshield wiper, push and pull, remind yourself, spread your fingers, because as you spread your fingers, you cover more of the basketball. And you might just be a little bit off on your throw, but if your fingers are spread, you'll catch it. See, like that was a bad throw. I threw it too far out, okay? But because of my fingers were spread, I could catch, I could get to that basketball. Now, now I'm juggling inside, now I'm gonna take the basketball and go to the outside. Okay, let's go back to the inside. Inside, I'm gonna take the one with my right hand and just go around and over. Whoa, did you see that? Okay, inside, around, over, around, over, around. Just going around on the outside, okay? Different motion there, let's stop and, and isolate that motion. That motion is this, from the left hand, right to the left, right over the top to the left, and left over the top to the right. See that? Left over the top to the right. So I'm just going right, left, right, left. <laughs> All right, sometimes it gets a bit confusing. All right, let's try it. Inside, juggling inside, then we're gonna go outside. Outside, outside, outside. Bigger circle, bigger, okay, smaller. If you look in my eyes, I'm right in the middle. I'm looking right in the middle the basketballs, I'm not trying to chase them all, all three of them because I'd be going something like that and that's not good. All right, let me give you another thing on juggling. I'm gonna juggle them and as I'm juggling, I'm gonna hit one basketball uh, on top of the other one, watch it, okay? So I'll throw one up, that left one, I'll hit it on that right one. Let's try that again. Throw it up, hit it, okay? Now let's go the other way. Throw off the right one, hit it off the left. Throw up the right one, hit it off the left. Throw up the left, hit it off the right. Oh, you saw that? Right, hit it off the left. Left, hit it off the right. Right, hit it off the left. How about this one? With your right hand, hit it off your ouch head. Ouch. Let's try that again. Oh, made a, made a mistake. Try it again. All right? We're getting to the fun stuff now. If you can do all this stuff with one basketball, two basketballs, you'll be able to get this stuff, okay? 
This is when I'm glad I let my hair grow out, okay? Throw it up, ugh, hit it off the top of your head. Let's see if I can do it with my left hand. Throw it up, ouch, it hurt when I did it that way. Now in the middle of juggling, I'm just gonna take the one in my right hand, throw it to the ground, comes right up. Throw it to the ground, comes right up. Take the one in my left hand, throw it to the ground, comes right up. Left hand, throw it to the ground, comes right up. Right to the ground, left to the ground, okay? All of those things, those variations were out of me juggling the ball inside of each other. Left to right, right to left. Now, you remember the three ball that we did when we were dribbling, juggling three? You dribble that third one down harder. Same principle here. When I throw one to the ground so that I can buy myself some time, I throw one ball up higher. We'll call, I'll yell out three ball when I do it, okay? Ready? Okay. Three ball, see that? Three ball, three ball, see how that one goes up higher? All right, let's try it with my right hand so the three ball is gonna be in my left hand. Three ball, oh, that hurt. Okay, ah! I'm getting confused, I think. Let's try that again. That's the left hand. Actually, you know what? The one that's going on the ground, that's my three ball. Look at it. It slows down everything else so I can do that, all right? Now, let's try this. Let's try to throw one up behind my back. Just like we did with two basketballs. One basketball is gonna go up higher and then I'll use that time that I bought from throwing it up higher to throw one behind my back, okay? Let's try it. Here we go. Is our son bad for this? How we doing, Andy? Yeah. All right, it's gonna work. Left one up higher, oops. Try it again, left one up, higher, look at that. See how I bought time? Left one up higher, oh, bought time. Even though I didn't get it behind my back very good. Woo! Okay, left one up higher, bought time. Okay, let's go the other way. Right one up higher, behind my back. Right one up higher, bought time, oh! What do you think, should I try again? Let's try again, all right? Going left hand, right one up higher, behind my back. Right one up higher, bought me some time behind my back, okay? And these dribbling, juggling things, you wanna take one ball, throw it up a little higher, it buys you time so that you can do the trick. Now we're gonna go one in the middle, two on the outside, okay? We'll start from juggling on the inside, we'll take one in the middle, two on the outside, let's try. Looks like that, that would be a tractor in the background, okay? One on the outside, one in the middle, two on the outside. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Gang, the only way you do that, you gotta practice. Let's wait for this tractor to go by. That would be the tractor going by. You have that sometimes in a private lesson, you know? Tractors go by. Where'd that dog go? Okay, back to that drill without the tractor. <laughs> one in the middle, two on the outside, okay? One, two, one, two. And from here, this gives you a basic, this gives you the foundation to make the two on the outside hit. Show you that again. Make them hit, see that? Then you can go back, inside, outside, make them hit, okay? Then you can make them miss. Whoa, look at that, that was gorgeous. Let's make them miss one more time. There we go. Now we'll make them hit, Mwah. Make them miss, Mwah. Didn't get the kiss. Now we'll make them hit three times in a row. One, two, three, four, five. What did I say, three times? Uh, I have a problem with counting sometimes. Okay, one more juggling where I throw, where I'm juggling and then I throw them up. I throw up two on the outside, one in the middle and I take the one in the middle and go around my back, okay? So let's try that, see what that looks like. All right, we're juggling on the inside. Got two on the inside, one, two on the outside, one on the inside, okay? Then we're gonna take the ones on the outside, throw them up a little higher, take the one like that, oh, around my back. Let's try that again, okay? One up. All right, that really helps you with your behind the back. Ow, wow, oh yeah, oh yeah, let's try it again. See it, up, throw that right in the middle, 
uh, uh, oh, no, didn't like that, didn't like that, didn't like that, didn't like that, like that one. Behind your back, got it? Okay, so the two on the outside, that's our three ball again. Throw those two up, same distance, buys you time to go around your waist with the one. Got it? Let's go to the wall. Okay, these are the things that I can't show you in most school assembly settings and conference settings. It's what you can do to develop your basketball handling skills by using a wall, okay? The thing about the wall is that I'm making, I have to make an accurate pass and I have to make a very secure catch. So again, I'm doing two things at once to develop coordination. I've got to pass the ball in a certain place, I've got to pass with a certain speed or a certain arc, and then I've got to catch the one that's coming at me. We're always using two basketballs. I'll tell you what, before we actually get into the passing, let me show you this little dribbling drill. It's another way to develop, uh, to develop fingertip control. And what you want to do is, my wall isn't quite high enough, but you want to try to extend your, your hand as much as possible so that this elbow is locked and you want to dribble fingertip control on the wall, going faster and faster. I'll do 10, okay? So 10 would look like this. Notice how I got faster and faster. We'll go 20 and see how fast the old hands can go. All right? Now, if you do it right, you want to do the same thing left. You can stay right where you are, Andy. I'll just show them from the back side. All right? Two. All right, try to straighten those arms out, Kevin, so that you can be a good student. Now, it gets real fun. And Andy, I don't know how you're gonna get this shot, though, but I'm gonna dribble one ball here and then one on the floor. Again, coordination to make it difficult. If you can do two things, you can definitely do one. One on the wall, one on the floor. It gets real fun when you close your eyes. One on the wall, one on the floor. Eyes closed. If you do it right, you got it. Do the same thing left. So turn around, one on the wall, one on the floor. Close my eyes. Andy's going to stay back there because it's a better angle. Here we go. One on the floor, one on the wall. Eyes closed. Oh, you make a mistake. Guys, you know what to do. Come on. There you go. Try it again. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, good. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, passing on the wall, is two ball passing. The ball's going to make a, it's going to be a circular pass. The ball's going to make a sh circular shape on the wall right here. Notice I've got my, I've got my feet about shoulder width apart, and I want to get down in a basketball stance so I can move, but hopefully I'm going to make a very good pass so I don't have to move too much. I want to throw the ball always right in the middle of my body, so the ball comes right back, starting with my right hand, the ball comes right to the middle of my body. Now, I don't want to throw the ball flat because it comes back fast, okay? I want to throw the ball with just a little arc. As a matter of fact, if you want to slow the ball down, you just throw it up real high. The, ha the higher you throw it up, you can slow down the drill, okay? The lower you throw it and the faster you throw it, the more you speed up the drill. So we'll just get it going right hand, catch with two hands, pass with one. Catch with two, pass with one. Catch with two, pass with one. Slow the drill down, throw it up with an arc on it like that, okay? If I want to speed the drill up, throw it a little more straight, a little flatter. If I want to get even faster, I walk into the wall, catch a two, pass with one, catch a two, pass with one, catch a two, pass with one. Now, guys, you know if you do something with your right hand, you've got to do the same exact thing with your left hand so you're not a one-sided ball player, okay? Slow the drill down, throw it up, slow it down, throw it up, slow it down, Ooh, throw it up, slow it down, okay? Let's speed it up. By doing it faster, okay? Quick, 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 catch with two hands, pass with one. Now what we're gonna do is alternate. Right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, alternating, right, left. I'm speeding the drill up by walking into the wall, getting down the basketball stance, faster, 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 speeding it up, walking it back out, okay? Great drill. Let's go to the next level of that, which is three basketballs. It's like with all the three ball drills, you want to start with one under your elbow or bicep, one in the same hand, and this one in the other hand, the opposite hand. For me, it's my right hand. 
and I'm going to try to continually do right hand off the wall, okay? My, one or two of them might miss and go to the left. I might have to throw it back with my left. But my goal at the beginning is to go right hand off the wall. Controlling the speed by throwing it higher, okay? If I want to slow it down, lower if I want to speed it up, all right? Now, I'm making an accurate pass every time, throwing the ball at the same spot on the wall, and I have to concentrate and catch the other two coming at me. Here we go. Basketball position so I can move, right hand, okay? Now let's switch and go left hand. I'm going left hand now. Like I just did, I had to move over a little bit just because of my wall so I wouldn't hit that spot in the middle that I just hit. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Now we're gonna alternate, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. It's the ultimate reaction drill. I'm reacting to the basketball coming off. Come on, come on, old guy. Come on. Oh, there we go, there we go. Slow it down a little bit. Getting that from behind, Andy. Woo right hand, left hand. Oh, come on. And that was a good ending right there. Couple more things. Let's go back to juggling. Remember we were juggling? just standing up. Now we're going to juggle on the wall. Same principle. Basketballs are going inside of each other. Remember that start? Two in one hand, one in the other hand. Take this one, throw it, inside, inside, inside. Right to left, left to right. My fingers are spread. Always want to spread your fingers. Spread your fingers so that you can catch it, then make an accurate toss to the other side. Remember we went outside? We're gonna go outside on the wall now. Here we go, outside, outside. See that? Catching it, catching it, toss, catch, toss. Let's go back inside, just like that, and outside. How about one in the middle, two on the outside, remember that? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. two, one, Two. Come on, come on, react, react. Don't quit, Kevin. All right, make a mistake, try again. Always good to have a great cameraman who can help you and film at the same time. We messed up on one in the middle, two on the outside. Let's see if we can get it. One, two, one, two, one. Cross, have I done that? I don't think I'm gonna do that. Okay, here we go. Two ball passing on the wall. Some of this you might have to Get behind me, Andy, to grab. Uh, because what we're going to do is start with the basketballs, one on either side, kind of like the juggling. So the one on the right stays on the right, one on the left stays on the left. Now we're making an accurate pass and catch, but it's happening quicker. It's happening quicker as the ball's coming back to you closer off the wall. I'll show it to you again. This one on the right is going to stay on the right. This one in my right hand is going to stay on the right side of this middle line. So one in my left hand is going to stay on the left side of the middle line. So these basketballs will never change size, okay? All right, I'll throw this one, throw that one. Catch with two, pass with one. Say that with me. Catch with two, pass with one. Catch with two, pass with one. Start off slow, quicker, quicker, okay? Come out farther. For me, I want the basketball to stay about a little bit above my head, about a basketball's height above my head, okay? Then when you get quicker, more control, you can bring the ball down. Okay, back up above your head, catch a two, pass with one. Now we're gonna juggle. We're gonna take another one of the things that we did when we were just standing, we'll take it to the wall and do it with one hand, okay? So I'm gonna juggle, the first time I juggle, the one in my right hand is gonna stay on the right, the one that's now in my left hand is gonna stay on the left. And then we're going to make circles, okay? Then we're going to do it right hand, we're going to do it left hand, okay? Juggling on the wall. That stays on the right, that stays on the left. Right, left, okay? Accurate catch, spread your fingers. Remember, spread your fingers. Spread your fingers to make an accurate toss. Good catch, accurate toss. Good catch, accurate toss, okay? Let's try left hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. React, 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 react. Make a mistake, try again. We're not going to cut that out of the film. 
We want you to see reality TV. <laughs> the real kind, like when bugs bite you and stuff. Not that fake stuff. All right, real reality TV, here we go. Left hand, react, react, right hand behind your back. Good catch, accurate toss, good catch, accurate toss, good catch, accurate toss. Now we're gonna go right hand and we're gonna make a circle. Okay, start off regular. Now we're gonna circle. I have to get away from that middle because that's messing me up. Okay, making a circle. Okay, circle, circle, circle. Now we're gonna go left and circle. Whoa, till we mess up. Left, circle, circle, circle. See the circle? Inside, outside. Right hand, let's try a circle. Left hand, circle. Okay? All right, I think this might be our last one, unless I can think of something off the top of my head while I'm doing this one. Remember we did two ball on the wall, then we went to three ball, passing just on the wall. Well, it's a little more challenging when you do that with just one hand. So we're gonna take our left hand, I'll start with my left, put my left hand behind my back, and I'll just do it with one hand. Look something like this, let's see if we can do it. I'm feeling pretty good today, okay? Catch right hand, catch it, pass it, catch it, pass it. Okay, I've got it up pretty high, slowing it down. Now I'm gonna move it down quicker. Catch, catch, pass. I'm controlling it, stop the ball. Fingers are spread, make an accurate pass. I'm down so I can move. Now we're gonna go left side, left hand, okay? Getting down, catching it, stopping the ball. Fingers are spread. Oh, 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 left hand, left hand. As you can tell, my left hand's a little bit weaker. Okay, now we're gonna start playing games. Like we'll do, let's say, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, two, three, four, five. Left, two, three, four, five. You can do things like that with one hand. It makes you have to work a little bit harder. Well, gang, should I do it? Should I? Okay, I'll show you two more tricks because you've been working hard, I can tell. The bullet drill, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna put your heels on the line. Okay, I want you to say this with me while you're watching this at home. Say, heels on the line. Heels on the line. And what you're gonna take, do is you're gonna take the basketball and you're gonna drop the basketball on the line and catch it behind your back, okay? Drop it on the line, catch it behind your back. Drop it on the line, catch it behind your back, okay? Now, how do you push yourself on this one? How do you go faster? Well, you're gonna throw the bar, ball harder and harder. And I should add, safer and safer, okay? Like this, okay? We're getting there, all right? On the line, every time, that's why your heels are on the line, to make sure that you do not miss, because missing <coughs> is not <coughs> fun. Now that you got the hang of that, I'm gonna have Andy move out in front and I'm gonna do a different one where rather than catching the basketball behind my back, I'm gonna catch it behind my head. It's a little more difficult. I'll do it from the front first, then I'll do it from the side. The wild thing on this one is if I never mess up, when I do this in public, if I catch it the first time, the audience never claps. But if I miss it like five times and then I catch it, they go, oh my God, it's so amazing. Look guys, it's amazing even if I catch it the first time, okay? So you have to be amazed. That's part of this whole thing. But maybe I'll miss the first one. Who knows? I don't know. It's been a while since I've done this. So rather than catching it behind my back, I'm gonna catch it behind my head. Secret is my hands are gonna be on top of the ball like this, okay? The ball comes behind. Not just on the side, but on the top of the basketball, okay? Looks like this. Whoa, I caught it, but look, only barely. Are you amazed? Be amazed, please be amazed, okay? Let's try it again. Oh, there's a good miss. That was a good one, huh? You saw that? I kind of clapped my hands. That was a good miss, okay? So let's try it again. All right, see there? Mm, oh, barely, I like it. Three in a row, why don't we stop while we're ahead? All right, gang, what I'm about to do is the last thing I'm gonna show you, okay? This private lesson is going long. Oh, I don't have my watch on. So hopefully we're having a good time. 
This is called the impossible catch. Um, you may have done this drill at camp where you take the basketball, throw it up, clap, catch it behind your back. Well, that gets a little more difficult when you catch that rather than behind your back, but, but through your legs. So we're going to try this a couple of times. I'm using the wall because uh, this is difficult, but I might miss it a, a few times, but we'll just keep trying until we get it. Throw it up. No. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Let's try that again. Woo. It's hard to bend when you get older, man. Oh, there we go. Okay, it wasn't that bad. I made it seem like it was more difficult than it is. Okay, throw it up. Catch it behind your back. Now, that's the building blocks for what they call the impossible catch. I'm actually going to do that, but with two basketballs, okay? Which means I have to make a pretty accurate toss and a quite an amazing catch, I should add, okay? Two basketballs here. All right, I'm going to throw them up. They're going to perfectly land over the back of myself, and I shall catch them through my legs like this with a smile on my face. All right? Let's try it. There's an airplane going by, so this is a good time to try it. Right now. Oh! Well, oh, should I try it again? I think I'm getting tired. This workout is giving me a workout. Let's try it again, all right? The wind's blowing. That was the wind's fault. That's what it was, Andy. It was the wind. Oh, one. But we want to catch two. First time I caught zero. That time I caught one. Maybe this one I'll, this time I'll catch two. Let's try it. Oh! <laughs> that was one and a half. But yet the ball came back just like it should have. Andy's moving in. He thinks that this is the one. Let's see if he's right. Concentrating, focus, Danielson. Oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Woo, you're gonna have some editing to do now, Mr. Andy. Oh, very impossible today. Very impossible, but we're gonna get it. Maybe one in a row, is that what we're shooting for? Did you get that? No, oh, I'm not recording. You weren't recording, thank you so much. Uh, we got it, we got it. All right, the impossible catch. Yang, you saw, I think it took me five, maybe six times to get that. Guys, and you're still just seeing the highlights. As I was working on these drills, to improve them, to get them to the level that you saw, that, you, that you're seeing right now. It took me literally hours and hours. My friends would go out when I was in college and they'd go to parties. I'd stay in the gym and work out. I would come to practice 15 minutes early. I'd leave practice 15 minutes late because I was determined to improve my ball handling skills. I was, I was determined to improve my hands because I wanted to play. If you're serious enough, you can take these few drills that we've done here, I guess over the last hour or so, and if you will do them three to four days a week, 30 to 45 minutes a day, I can almost guarantee you that you will improve as a basketball player. Thank you so much. Try again. Work hard. You can do it.